Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. We give God the praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member for this episode. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. They thought they figure you out. They thought they figure out everything. In, in other words, this person, when they finally thought they figure you out, they felt that you would have met somebody that has been subdued on that day. That was how they thought they figure you out. You know, the, the devil and prideful people, you know, pride is from the devil. No matter how somebody will tell you he or she is a born again, he can be a pastor, he can be a prophet, he can be an evangelist. When you see a man or a woman that is prideful, even, in, even if the person carrying, is carrying Bible, understand that that person is dealing with the spirit of pride because God does not give us that spirit of pride. pride no. God does not give us the spirit of pride. When you see a man that is so prideful, that can touch his chest and say, if it is not me, if it is not me, I am this, I am that, I am that, I am this. That look down on people, even people who are following him or her. Even people who are looking up to him or her. Know that no matter, that person might still have gifts. Understand these things. There are people who have gifts, natural gifts from the Lord. They have gifts from God and they are like, I don't know how to put it. They are spiritually gifted. They are spiritually gifted. But yet, they are filled with pride. Why? Because they have refused to surrender that pride. Do you know why that gift in them, God is not taking it away? Let me tell you something. The word of God must comfort it does not matter how God is going to bring the word. He will bring it forth. One thing you should know. God can take a drunkard from the street and use him or her to preach his gospel. But that does not mean that the drunkard <laughs> is going to heaven if he or she did not repent. The person the, the, person the drunkard preached to might repent and find Christ. Do you know why? Because the word of God must comfort. He can use anyone to measure his word comfort when he has somebody to save, when he has a soul to deliver. He must bring his word for through someone. That is why the Bible says, if we refuse to serve the Lord, he will raise stones. What do you think that the Bible is talking about when he says he will raise stones? Do you think it's the stone in your compound? No. These are what the Bible talks about. Those that, that, that we never thought could come and preach the gospel, these are the ones that God will not touch their tongue and say, release my word. Have you not seen people who preach the gospel? They preach all this gospel, they do miracles, they speak prophecy. They are living in fornication. They will even come and show you who they are fornicating with. And you will be celebrating them. Is it not the social media we are seeing? You know, whenever the respect I speak, people will be angry. People will be angry. What is she talking about? Do you know why it's like that? God is patient. God is patient and his word must comfort. Until they repent, even you that is clapping for them, you are not going to save them on the last day. They can preach the gospel. Yes, God will move in his power because his word must comfort. But you see that sin that they are swimming in and the world is clapping for them. You know the world is not normalizing fornication. They are normalizing adultery. They are normalizing different kinds of things. When you speak about it, people, people will get angry. Instead of, them to, instead of them to reflect on their life and say, God, help me to overcome it. They would want to use one place in the Bible to cover that place up. On the last day, there will be no cover up. It will be so open. Everyone have their weak point. Even if you are fornicating, and that has been your weak point, adultery, 
tell God to help you to overcome it. Don't run away when you hear someone is talking about it. It is because God is interested in your soul. That is why you are hearing about it. So that you can reflect on your life. So that you can change if at all you are in need. It is not a call for you to run away. Because everyone have one or two weakness that they are dealing with. But when you hear about your weakness, it is because God is helping you. He wants you to leave that weakness. You need to understand these things. This is what the Lord told me. Somebody concluded on you until you showed up in a different form. Until you showed up. Because they felt that you would be the one that would be subjected under them. But you showed up in a different form. God helped you to show up. Now they could not bear it. They exploded. They start saying all sorts of things about you. Don't expect them to be happy when you showed up in a different form after you have been concluded on. They exploded. Someone feels so angry, exploding in anger. And they want you to rehab. May wisdom speak for you. May the grace of God speak for you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And the mayor sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.